Let's start this video in an echoey dark corner of my room. Basically this is a, the Mila S3 you saw um, in October. Update, it's been cleaned up, cleaned up lovely, needs new motor brushes, ordered some, they don't fit, and it's now sitting and taken apart in my room. But all the attachments came up lovely. I don't think I actually had to refurb that, it was so clean. So yeah, but flash forward to now, flash forward, fast forward, to now as I walk out of the dark corner. Ah, more Mila S3s. Where to start? Well, I've had this one since like November. This one came today, the 8th of February, just to give you some context. This was on eBay in London. I don't live in London, sadly. Quite a lot of my machines have come from London, actually. Uh, any in here? Oh yeah, Henry Plus has. Henry Plus over there has. Blue Nuvac, who I've just put away, came from London. Yeah, nice place for getting Hoover's London. Um, and actually, the only other Mila I've seen like this is in London, lives with Adam. So yeah, this is a Mila Sunflower S3. I saw it on eBay. It had its hose. It had a newer wand, though. So the guy in the description was like, oh, not sure. The flow head is original. So in my message asking if he'd box it up, you know, typical me. He did. He agreed, obviously, because it's here. I said, the flow head is original. The wand isn't original. However, when he boxed up, he never put the hose in because he assumed that wasn't original anyway. So I was like, you idiot. I said, wand. Anyway, the guy actually said, oh, um, I'm going to my storage unit soon. I'll sort you the other Hoover parts I have. I'm like, all right, okay, cool. Thinking he wouldn't follow through. But I got a message from him a couple of weeks ago saying, I have remembered. I've just not been yet. I'm like, all right, wow. So the floor head has a broken pedal and, yeah, is a bit ropey. I need, well, that green meal I've just shown you, the apple green solution one, the flow head whistles on that when you have it on its side the whole time, so maybe some parts of that can be used. Um, there's £15, which is cheap, although the lid is busted as well, and it really takes an effort to get it out. And when you do get it out, it's not too traumatic. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's easier if you actually just take the springs out altogether. Although then you literally have to get your fingers in and lift it up. It's because the lid isn't sitting properly that it isn't unleashing out of this catch as well. So it's a bit of a nightmare. This is only a small tool, it's not even original. Oh, there is a Mila one. Um, we might as well just leave it in there. Let's put the in there. I haven't even fired this up, it seemingly is working. But I don't think we'll be firing it up in this video, basically because, ah. The listener, I just read the listener back actually. Current bag is only half full. I, I beg to differ, that weighs a ton. Now, it must have had genuine Mila bags at some point because that is a genuine filter. It was also no joke fitted like that. Any of you want to challenge me, I've got a photo of when it came. This, I don't think it's original. It could be original. It's at least 15 years old. Mm, lots of carbon dust. So I'm going to guess this one's pretty well used. Um, you see, this is not even the right size. Must have had GN bags in it because that's the filter you get with GN bags. But anyway, sometimes oversized filters are better than small ones. Let's just put that back in because where else we're we gonna put it? Doesn't even fit. It doesn't it doesn't even remotely click. I mean, there's okay. There's Mila haters out there that go on you like you can't use pattern bags. But look, that one doesn't even fit. I mean, come on. Oh, it's just been dust out as well. It does not even fit. So tell me. Mila pattern bags and all this and oh they just want you to buy the genuine ones but if the pattern ones are no good then you know it's pointless at the back the classic the cable is cut into the machine original plug though um, yeah pretty cool I actually have a yellow Mila already but it's just the really basic on off and that's it S300i maybe so yeah now this Mila was on eBay for £10 people have probably seen it because it was just recent and it came with all of this. Um, not sure what these two are off, but I can identify the rest. That's DC41, that's Hoover Scabbard, and that looks like Vax121. So yeah, they were all free of charge, I suppose. Now I have another set of these tools, so I've actually listed them for a tenner to cover the cost. So yeah, that was very good, the seller to chuck them in too, because I asked them to courier it, well, box it. Actually, a very helpful seller. I asked, could you box it up, I'll arrange a courier uplift. They're like, yeah, sure, you can bid. 
It's like, okay, thanks. I can bid. Um, so they boxed it up. And then they mentioned him saying, there's a parcel force drop off in our street. Why don't I just go up and do it for you? I was like, oh, that was very kind. So apparently it doesn't work and I haven't fired it up. And again, I probably won't because the inside's a mess. But let's have a look. Um, it's all a bit stiff, the swivel joints. It spewed a load of sawdust and plaster into the bag compartment. Now this head, my Miller White Pearl has one of these heads and I don't like it, however this one's actually different, this one's got a brush strip. The Miller White Pearl head I've got just has a really fluffy one of those strips in it. It's supposed to adjust so it's all jammed up with fluff so it doesn't really adjust. The older style tube which the S400s came with, I actually think this is quite an early S300. The hose actually clicks in which is rare. Um, I actually have another Mila S. We'll see the state of that. I actually have another Mila S four hundred, and this is so worn, it's like someone cut it at a forty five degree angle. They must have used it like that. You haven't seen that S four hundred. That was very recent as well. A blue one. Hose is. I see it's spewing. I'm gonna guess that's like sawdust or something. Out. They've done renovations with it. I'd say um, mainly because the crevice tool. Yeah, full of plaster. Oh look, beautifully working tool lid. Um, and dust and brush is fairly decent, although it's kind of half fuzzy, half not. Now I have another green Mila SD, but I think it's more of a blue than a green. That's the one the suppressor blew on me while I was using it, but very easy to do. You just yank it off and it works again. Um, so I have no idea what could go wrong with this. This is the first S3 I've had, apparently. I don't know, they just said it stopped working. Fancy slider and... It has the square sort of pneumatic plug. Now all the S two hundreds I've had have had that plug, and they're obviously a bit older than something like that. So I'm guessing this is really early. Inside now it has been used with genuine bags, despite the state. However, I don't know if you can see the print on that. That is from the original paper bags, so it must have not had regular use or heavy use since genuine Miller paper bags. So that's quite something. You'll see the filter as well. Again, it was really gunky. Now, Mila used to sell, I've got a few boxes of them, J bags. And that one would be J as well. And then you'd buy an F bag for another machine, but they merged FGM at one point. You can see it's really dusty. <laughs> so yeah, that was before the time of FGM. I'll get a box of them out for the after video. The clips up there are all intact though, which is cool. I love the colour. On camera, it looks a bit lighter. It is kind of darker. I had a couple of Mila S2s in this colour. Which went to another collector, who then sold them to Kevin, which is funny, because they've went 300 miles and then they've come back 5 miles away. Wheels and base are all decent. Hmm. Not bad for a tenner. So, it seems in the world of Mila S3s, you either get one that's well used and mashed, or you get one that's minty but doesn't work. Although I haven't fired it up. When they said not working, it could just be it wasn't sucking because all the dust, but I'm not firing it up in here because it will put dust everywhere. So yeah, that's two Mila S3s to add to the pile. What S3s have I got? I've got the dark blue one, which also needs carbons. Yeah, I've got two sets of those carbons advertised for Mila S3, and they don't fit. And because they came from a German seller, when I opened a refund, they were like eight quid for two sets. It was going to cost me eight quid to send them back, so I never bothered. Um, maybe they can be bodged into something else. So yeah, I've got the kind of other green one um, with a broken lid. The dark blue... The light greeny one, uh, the red one, although I don't know, I don't have a red one, but Kevin does. Kevin's got one of my old red ones. But I count that as part of our Mila S3 family, if that makes sense. Uh, now I've lost my place totally. We've got red, yellow, dark blue, green, and the other green, and light green. Is that six? Two yellows, actually. Oh dear, this is. This is oh. Uh, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we've got seven. Wow, wow, seven Mila S3s, and they're all different colours. Yeah, be cool to get Kevin's red one along at some time. Um, now I'm questioning everything. I have another dark blue one, which stupidly I put in our house in Italy, and it's like the best S3 on the planet. The hose, the end isn't even worn, it is mint. The carbon brushes were like that long. It was amazing. I thought, oh, I'll make a really nice one. But of course, we haven't been out there in 
two years since I put it over there. So yeah, can't regret that. As you can hear from the silence. I should have put my really scabby one out. Anyway, I've talked too much. But yeah, one day we'll get all the Mila S3s together and it'll look really cool. Oh, I forgot to mention the paperwork came with this one. Um, which I already put away, which is convenient. And if I remember, I'll get it out for the after video. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. I don't know when I'll be filming these again. There'll be something else exciting coming up. Sneak peek, that's all you're getting. Okay, thanks for watching.